Hello, my name is Bernice House, Customer Relations Manager. And I'm Heather Ostera, Media and Marketing Associate. Thank you for joining us today for our first installment of our Coffee Table Conversation series, where we will invite a special guest to chat with us and share their wonderful stories. Heather, how are you doing today? I'm excited, Bernice, how are you? Excited to start this new series. Well, so am I. Last March, the Monterey County Weekly announced the winners of its Best of Awards, and our Avita won Best Theater Production in 2019. Congratulations. Congratulations. Today's guest is Melinda DeRuin, casting coordinator for our wonderful productions, and also the recent star of our main stage show, Evita. Tell us, what made this production of Evita so special, not only for those in the audience, but everyone involved? Um, well, first, thank you. It was really exciting to win Best Production. It meant a lot to me and the cast and crew. Um, I think this production was special, number one, just because the story of Ava Perone is really fascinating to begin with. Her life story, um, it's enthralling to a lot of, of people around the world. And then you add the dramatic music and storytelling over it, makes it even better. And plus, for our production personally, the direction of Joanne Gordon brought it to just a whole nother level of um, rawness, um, that you expect from Avita that a lot of people have come to re recognize of the character and the story, but also a sweetness and a loving side and a tenderness to her that um, showed why so many people still adore her today. And I think all of those elements combined left a really strong impression on the audience plus the cast that we got to go through this every night and relive this story and tell it in such a beautiful way um, was just unforgettable and moving every single night. Now you've been performing for many years. When did your journey start as an artist? Um, I started singing when I was very young. Uh, as soon as I could talk, my parents say, whatever that means. But actually I see that in my kid now. He's kind of just learning to speak and sings. Um, my stage, my first stage was the kitchen table where I would sing, you know, tomorrow from Annie and things like that. But I started doing theater in elementary school in um, Gilroy, actually, um, at Rucker Elementary was my first taste of theater. And it just, it hooked me from the start. And I did it through all of my life, um, all, of, all of my schooling into college, which is when I started um, performing with the Western Stage was when I was in college. So tell us about some of your most memorable moments at the Western Stage. Um, uh, I would say, well, playing Evita was really excellent and absolutely memorable. Um, every night was a dream to be able to portray this woman and this story with these people and the orchestra and the costumes. I mean, it was absolutely unforgettable. Um, also, I really, as weird as it sounds, I really remember my first audition at the Western Stage, which was, I think, 20 years ago. Um, and I remember being um, overwhelmed by the size of the stage and how big it felt and how much movement we were able to do and how many seats there were. I have a very distinct memory of that. And um, I think probably going to see a show with my son. Um, I think his favorite that we've seen so far was In the Heights. So those are really, he still brings it up. He's 10 and this was like three years ago, I think, two or three years ago, three, four years ago for In the Heights and he still talks about it. So I have memories of like all different uh, stages of my life at the Western Stage. Thank you for sharing those wonderful memories. You're currently on staff as casting coordinator. What goes into casting a season? Um, well, I think the, the first part about it is understanding the shows and um, the roles and what is required of each role um, and also how far you could bend those requirements is actually kind of a fun part of casting. Um, if 
you know, things aren't really specific about characters and how they look and their age or anything. You can kind of have a little fun with it. So understanding what's required of the roles. And um, I think the most important and challenging part of casting is finding actors who are willing to commit to um, the schedule and what's required of you to be in a show at the Western stage. It's, um, it's very rewarding to be in a show there, but it's also very taxing and it takes a lot of time. Um, so when somebody, it's their first time auditioning and um, they're just getting a taste of it, audition, the audition process by itself can be so fun and rewarding for actors and being able to witness that and seeing actors who are so ready to be in a show um, and experience uh, the spotlight and experience the costumes and experience the rehearsal process and the bonding experience that goes into a show. When people are ready for that and I get to be the one to um, welcome them in, it's really, really wonderful. Um, but there's a lot of, there's some hard parts, you know, it's, it's not easy because we do six main stage and uh, studio shows during the repertory uh, season plus their spring fest and there's just so many people we need. So it can be challenging, but when it's rewarding, it is, it's awesome. Melinda, uh, what message do you want to give other artists that are stuck at home during this very unique period? What would you tell them? Um, oh, well, you know, I'm always looking for advice myself, but I think my advice for artists and actually everybody what you're doing in your home is the most important thing in the world right now. And I don't watch TV. Our, we, I have two kids and um, a lovely husband, and we don't really watch television very much. And I turned it on the other day, and I couldn't believe how every commercial, every program was like, during this hard time, during this transitional period, during this, and it was like, whoa, 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 that's really overwhelming. So I would say first turn off the television and don't, you don't have to ingest it all day and, you know, check in once in a while, once a day or two times a day. Um, I would also say that um, find your favorite art and, and um, ingest it as much as possible. Um, and if you don't feel creative right now, artists out there, musicians, actors, that's totally normal. Um, and it's hard right now to feel creative and inspired, even though we have all this time and we should be doing stuff, it's weird. It's a weird energy, so don't feel bad. But if you do want to um, create for the world, we would love it right now, and it's needed. Um, I can't say how much music and movies have been so important to me and my family right now. Um, it's I've been listening to new music and watching new movies, and it really helps to just shut out what's going on for a little while. Um, so that would be my advice, and that's kind of my advice for everybody, not just artists, is to um, indulge in your favorite art right now, and um, the world will be there. It'll be there tomorrow. It ain't going anywhere, unfortunately. So, but, you know, my best to everybody. <laughs> that's very good advice. Well, thank you for talking to us, Melinda. It's always a pleasure to hear from you. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, we hope you enjoyed this chat and we look forward to our next coffee table conversation. Until then, stay healthy. I have like 20 copies of, oh look, I have it right here. here. I have like 20 copies of these that my husband got. So um, if anybody needs any, I got them. Uh, so my love to everybody in the whole cast. <laughs>